Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the Gigabyte U4 laptop. As a super lightweight, durable and efficient machine, the U4 is perfect for boosting your productivity levels no matter where your work takes you. Straight out of the box, you instantly feel how lightweight and compact the whole machine is. It comes with a decently long AC power adapter for charging on the go, measuring at about 109 inches long, keeping the battery going in use and powered up ready for when you need it. The entire look is very simple, encased in an aluminium housing that definitely helps maintain that super light body. The design is relatively minimal here, with just a plain, smooth, dark grey exterior with the central light reflective embossed logo on the back and a smaller shiny logo just below the screen. It's a great universal design that could fit nicely into any environment, from office work to average home life. The display has a slightly thicker bezel around the edge compared to some of the other laptops on the market right now, but it doesn't take up a lot of screen space and the matte coating helps a lot with glare when in a bright room, making the screen easy to see in almost any light. One of the huge selling points for me here is how delicately thin the body is despite being pretty robust. I feel comfortable holding it under my arm when travelling around the office, knowing that it has a military grade standard design build for absorbing whatever life throws at it. To give you an idea, it weighs a minuscule 990 grams with a depth measuring at around 16.5 millimetres. Most importantly, this makes it incredibly easy to slip into a small bag or carry it around school or the office and with the inclusion of the fast, stable Wi-Fi 6, there's no limit to the places I can work. On boot up, you'll find it gets straight into downloading and installing the new Windows 11 operating system, meaning you get an instant access to the new way of enjoying Windows tech before you even get into the setup stages. I quite enjoyed all of the new features that this new system had to offer. The home bar at the bottom was much more app friendly and the general icon friendly interface with sliders and buttons felt a lot more like the modern tech that I'm used to. It definitely heightened my experience with this laptop, knowing that I could start fresh with the new software ready to go on startup. Now because the laptop is quite thin, the keys are nice and shallow, offering a soft touch and quiet typing. You'll even be surprised to find that it has a white backlight under the keys. Though it doesn't shine through them, it really helps bring out the keys in the dark. And better still, it has five brightness settings that give you more choice than just turning them on and off. The trackpad is nice and spacious with plenty of room for both hands when scrolling and clicking. Now the trackpad is the same shiny metallic texture as the body, which does give it a little bit of traction when scrolling. But overall, the responsiveness was excellent, letting me browse with ease. In terms of connections, there are a few basic ports on the sides to assist with connecting external devices. On the right, there's a power switch, a micro SD reader, a 3.5 mm headphone port, and a single USB. On the left, there's a small power input, an HDMI, a USB and a display port slash USB-C port. Though a little limited, it's nice to see the range of connections that open up use with external storage and other displays despite the super thin size. It even supports high speed data transfer and fast charging with the USB-C, leaving nothing holding me back from delivering projects at my pace. The 14 inch 1920x1080 resolution, full HD IPS screen has a brilliant brightness range and movies and shows looked impressive. It has an 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor coupled with an Intel Iris Xe graphics card so it can support a wide range of projects as well as super fast browsing while watching the latest movies. Colours and contrast look beautifully bright overall, with great depth and clear visuals on cinematic movie trailers, even with the anti-glare coating. Images came out nice and sharp when browsing the web and reading articles, which is what I predominantly use this laptop for. Sharing your screen with others is made easy thanks to the 178 degree viewing angle and that impressive 180 degree extension on the hinge, opening up possibilities of placement and offering ultimate comfort no matter how you work. Depending on the light in the room, I did still manage to get a clear view of the screen even at a sharp angle, which was good to note. Internally, the U4 is equipped with a DDR4 16GB RAM and 500GB storage. This was plenty of space for downloading basic apps like Microsoft Office, as well as the Xbox app for running a few games if I wanted to. It does have two inbuilt SSD slots, which deliver faster writing and reading speeds. Now this is what makes this laptop so appealing. I can get quick access to all of my data and programs without having the inconvenience of lugging around a heavy laptop. Now this is largely a productivity laptop and it's not essentially designed for high powered gaming, but it's great to see that I could still download the Xbox app and stream some of the lighter titles with the cloud gaming using my connected Xbox controller. As you can see, it will struggle to play some high performance titles due to the high performance power and the lack of strong internet connection. I could still get some decent gameplay performance with compatible lighter games like Splitgate. 
With video calls becoming more common, it's very important to have a decent webcam and microphone setup. Now with the U4, you get both. The HD camera captures a beautifully even, sharp image even in this bright room with inconsistent light, as well as picking up my voice easily thanks to the dual array microphone. It has a good range of options for video and photo quality, as well as a few adjustment sliders in case you need to alter the brightness for example. And as you can see from this video here, the audio quality is perfectly clear and the picture quality is nice and sharp, so it's perfect for video calls. Now I know that sound is also a major factor when choosing the right laptop. I watch a lot of movies and YouTube videos, so I want the sound to match the picture in the best way possible. Now the U4 does come with two 1.5 watt speakers alongside the additional DTSX Ultra Enhancement. Now I thought the sound was even and had some impressive volume, letting me hear the movie I was watching well enough when moving around the office. Of course, the bass was a little lacking, but honestly it does a good job just letting me hear the dialogue in quiet scenes and just regular music while I work. But if you need a little more convincing, here's a small sound sample to give you an idea on the quality on offer here. One of the main concerns with most thin, high productivity laptops is the cooling system. Now it does have a small fan to help draw away any heat generated when working at high performance. The fan is surprisingly quiet and does go practically silent when not under pressure. Of course, as it has an aluminium frame, it can get a little hot above the keyboard after being on for a good few hours, but the heat stays well away from the keys and the touchpad, so there's no interference when typing and scrolling. As it's designed to work on the go, you'll expect to have a pretty decent battery life to keep you going. Now Gigabyte suggests up to 8 hours of battery capacity on full charge with a super fast 30 minute charge time. I did find that it lasted around 5 hours when using it consistently like I did when watching movies, downloading apps and trying out a few high performance games that put it through more than its intended use. But I feel that 8 hours is likely more accurate when considering that you'd most likely just be using it for browsing the web, watching movies and working remotely. And of course, you do have the small power pack with a generously long cable in case you do need to charge it on the go. Overall, I definitely say there are some brilliant highlights to this sleek, compact laptop. It's super lightweight, making it easy to carry around and fit into my bag, and its super fast boot up time does let me get to work instantly. It has a decent enough CPU and GPU to get me through my general workload, and it even supports the odd game or two in my downtime. It has a soft type style and a large touchpad that makes typing comfortable, and the battery keeps me going throughout the day, making me feel comfortable leaving the house without the charger. It's a brilliant machine, perfect for any office or schoolwork, wherever life takes you. So what do you think about this Gigabyte U4 laptop? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.